Hey YouTube, this is uh, Chris. Today I just wanted you to kind of watch me as I attempt to polish my Glock barrel. Uh, I have a Glock 17. It's only a you know second generation Glock, but we all know that Glock barrels are basically the same. So here's the the Glock 17 barrel. Uh, it's a pretty old Glock, so you know there's some wear and tear. It's got the Glock smile on it and everything. Uh, what I'm going to attempt to do today, uh, you've probably seen other videos out there of polishing the barrel so that it becomes almost kind of like a, a mirror or chromed as they call it. Um, the very first step you need to do is of course take the barrel out, make sure it's all clean. Uh, just clean it out as you would normally after you know, you've been shooting or anything like that. Make sure it's really clean. Uh, the second thing is you need to take a cotton ball. And I just had some normal cotton balls here you know, that my wife does her nails with. Um, and kind of stick them in each end of the barrel, in the breech end and this end here. Now this end, you know, it's kind of hard because I had some big cotton balls, but you know, you, if you twist, twist as much as you can, get it compacted in there, um, and it'll work just fine. So what we're going to do is we need to take this barrel and we need to soak it in some some apple cider vinegar here. You can use regular vinegar and it probably even works better if you use regular vinegar but all I had was apple cider vinegar uh, so I'm hoping it does the same thing which I think it should you know vinegar is vinegar so what we're gonna do I can grab my webcam here is I have this little cup here what we're gonna do is just put that barrel here inside the cup and we're gonna open this apple cider vinegar here let me put you down while I do that and you're gonna fill up this little cup don't worry you know if it gets in your barrel some people say it causes pitting but those uh, should keep it from getting in there it looks pretty good so once the barrel is completely submerged you can stop um, you can, as you can see it's completely under the water or under that vinegar now you can see it in there what we have to do is leave it in here for good they say five hours or so we're probably just going to leave it in to three or so hours. Um, just so you know, this doesn't affect the tenifer coating that the barrel has. A lot of people are, are worried about that or if it's going to avoid the warranty that Glock gives you. It really doesn't. Um, the tenifer is actually, it's the steel part. It's not this black coating on the barrel. So yeah, we're going to go ahead and soak this and uh, then we'll get on to the next step. I'll be right back. Okay guys, it's been about, it's only been about an hour and a half, but I just wanted to show you this because uh, I think it's already starting to go good. So here's the barrel, still in the apple cider vinegar. Uh, I'm just going to go ahead and take it out, um, lay it right here. Um, what we can do now is I'm going to dry it off a little bit. And how you can tell it's working is take a little bit of the polish that you've chosen um, I heard this one talked about a lot. It's the Mother's Mag and Aluminum Polish. I was able to find this at Walmart uh, just by the automotive uh, stuff like car wash and everything like that. So Mother's Mag and Aluminum Polish. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to open this. And I'm just going to grab a Q-tip. So with this Q-tip, I'm just going to roll it around in here. Just get a little bit on here. And then on the actual barrel... I'm just going to start rubbing. I'm just going to rub a lot right here in this one spot. And you can already see that that Q-tip is starting to get black, black, black. So I'm going to rub some more. I'm going to get the other side of the Q-tip done. Rub some more. And just keep rubbing here. And the fact that your Q-tip's getting black is really good. Okay, so I've rubbed a little bit. Now I'm just going to wipe it off with the cloth. Now, if you can see close, I'm not sure if you can uh, see it super close. Let me see if I can get a good angle on it. You can actually see, start seeing that some of this, uh, some of the black is coming off, and it's going to be a nice polished steel-looking barrel. And this is only after an hour and a half. Obviously, you know, after a few more hours, this is going to be way easier. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and put it back in my apple cider vinegar. And we'll be right back. All right, everybody. It's been about uh, 
I think it's been about four hours since uh, we put it in the vinegar. So let's go ahead and take it out and uh, see if we can start polishing things up. So it's kind of just sitting in here. You'll notice that, um, you know, there's bubbles around it. And even some of the, the black coating has started to come off. And I've just been kind of rubbing it with... Uh, with some q-tips here so just by rubbing it it's coming off so that's why I think it's about time for it to uh, be taken out here so let's grab this kind of set it right here I'm just gonna dry it off dry it off and take out these uh, cotton balls and the end of the cotton swabs are dry so that's how you kinda know that uh, that the uh, Vinegar didn't get into the barrel, so just pull those out. That's dry too, so that's all right. And then just finish drying off the barrel. Now that the barrel's all dry, um, you can. I don't, let's see if we can get you to see that. You can kind of see how like a lot of the black has already come off. So uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to get some cream here. Uh, the Mother's Mag Aluminum Polish and a rag, and I just have kind of this dirty rag here. I'm just going to find a clean spot on it, get some polish here on the rag, just a little bit. A little bit of polish kind of goes a long way. And uh, let's just start rubbing here at the top of this slide or barrel. It's basically just rub back and forth, little circles. You can see that where I'm rubbing is super dirty, so that's how we know it's working fine. You know, we might need to move to a to a new spot. Keep going here. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to rub this a little bit. I'm going to pause the video and maybe just um, go at it for maybe two or three minutes, and then I'll uh, be right back and show you. Okay, so I've been rubbing just probably oh, only about three minutes here. Let me, I just want to show you the difference because this is basically it. See if I can get you to see it. So here's where I've been rubbing just here on the side with uh, with that model number here. Um, basically, here's what it looked like before, you know, super dark. And then this is just after a few coats of the polish. So obviously it can go, you know, a few more coats. Um, we kind of want to get it as shiny as possible. So maybe another 10, 15 minutes on this side, um, 20 minutes. I figure the whole barrel is going to take maybe one or two hours because um, I, you know, I want to get it perfect. But other than that, <coughs> uh, it's pretty straightforward. You know, you can use a Dremel or some sort of uh, tool. You just want to be careful that you don't take off any of the steel. So, you know, by hand, you're not going to have that problem at all. But uh, it definitely is uh, some labor. You know, you're going to have to put your uh, back into things and. Uh, by the end, I'm sure my fingers will be hurting and I'll be all black. But anyway, uh, let me give it a few more hours and I'll show you the final product. Okay, so it has been quite a while, but I think I'm going to call it quits for now. Um, I don't know exactly how long I've been polishing, but basically I just turned on Happy Gilmore on the TV and I just polished until the movie was over. And here's where I'm at so far. So it looks pretty dang good. Um, you know, it's definitely got that chrome look. Um, the barrel, you know, I focused a little bit more on the barrel. I didn't do uh, down here where it actually makes contact with, like, the spring. Um, but I did do all the barrel, you know, the top, the sides. Um, and, of course, you know, you could do it better. I've only, my guess is an hour and a half is how much I've been doing it. So... A good two hours, three hours, and this thing will shine like crazy. I'm going to go ahead and put it into the gun just to show you, you know, kind of how it looks um, when it's all put together finally. I mean, I started this project, it was probably about two or three o'clock in the afternoon. And now I think it's uh, nine o'clock. So let's take a look. So it looks, you know, I think way better. Um, definitely, that chrome gives it that extra cool factor. I guess you know it's not it's not like it's going to help performance, but it does look cool.
uh, with the gun closed, you know, you can see that nice chrome barrel from the side and from the top. Let's see if I can get it to focus here. Yeah, just like that. You know, so I think it looks really good. And, you know, for, for a project that just takes one day and you can do it just with, you know, a rag. Here's what my rag looks like when I'm finished. You know, it has all the all the finishing here on the rag. Uh, basically, you just needed the apple cider vinegar, the the polish. You know, I recommend Mother's. There's there were lots of lots of polishes out there at Walmart, but um, this is the one that I heard people talk about on the forums. So this is the one I went with, which is Mother's. Um, and then just make sure you do have some Q-tips to get in the good spots. Thanks.